Shalom. Which means all praises to Yahweh, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who you people in the world we can call God, but Hashem, in the name of Yahweh, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who you people in the world we can call Jesus Christ. Those are the true names of the Heavenly Father and the Son. Plus, I'm going to give a shout out to the Akim that's pushing and spreading his word throughout the four corners of the earth. It's also uplifting the name Yahweh by Shemel Shah. Shalom to you, you Akim, you brothers. Also, Shalom to the Israelite forms, the speckled bird man, woman, the child who's been on, traces back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Though you may look like the heathen nations that scattered amongst, which the heathen nations, as you see on this chart right here, are the nations starting from two on down. Those are the heathen nations. Also, if oops, your C line, your lineage goes back to these people right here on this chart through the man, and if it's spirit bear witness with his word and his truth, and you can't and you can receive it to the speckled bird, man, woman, the child, if this does apply to you, you are Israelites, though you may look like the uh, other heathen nations you're scattered amongst. You're gonna have Israelites that look, you know, like the heathen had the appearance of the heathen do. To these people right here in this chart being scattered, so you're gonna, but the uh, under the curses of Deuteronomy 20th chapter, the 15th verse on down, also, you know, the spirit bear witness with his word that they are the children of Yahweh by Shemar Rashad, and most importantly, once again, their lineage goes back to these people as you see in this chart right here through the man, okay? To a few Akwaf, which is you sisters that do this and learn, Shalom. To the elect of the nation of Israel, where they may be scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, who's is, is waking up and repenting. Shalom to you as well. Once again, as you see in this chart right here, you so called Negroes, you so called Latinos, you so called Native Americans, you could bond, consist, to make up the 12 tribes of Israel. You are the Hebrew Israelites, the chosen people of the Most High, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, who you actually call Jesus Christ once again, Yahweh Shah. And um, I got a clip. On Dabu 7's page, Trump signs executive order to support moon mining. Tap asteroids resources. So I'm going to play this clip, then I'm going to uh, get straight to it. Dabu 7, Trump has signed yet another executive order, this one just yesterday. In this one, he is establishing U.S. policy on the exploitation of off-Earth resources. Now, this policy stresses that the current regulatory regime, notably the 1967 Outer Space Treaty, allows the use of such resources. Others, other countries, are not liking this in this rhetoric, and those like Russia and China, they're stepping up their game rather quickly and saying that they have missions as well that are going to continue, and they're not going to go to the international board. Now, here's the thing. A lot of these countries were asked to sign some stuff back in 1979, the Moon Treaty, which stipulates that non-scientific use of space resources be governed by an international regulatory framework. Bunch of them said, nope, not doing it. So in 2015, Congress passed a law saying that we could do this. The companies and citizens could use the Moon in resources. This executive order, they say, just emboldens it, puts it out there through and through, and says, here it is, we're, we're moving forward. Now, this executive order is called Encouraging International Support for the Recovery and Use of Space Resources. It's been in the works for about a year, they say, and they say that in this instance, this is going to help the Artemis program. If you don't know what Artemis is, Artemis is their new lunar plan. They want to have people on the moon, two astronauts, by 2024. So we can sit here and talk about the other, the old moon landings, fake, not fake, all that stuff. But really, we've got another one coming up in 2024. And with today's technology, today's cameras and telescopes, we should be able to watch this thing, leave Earth, and go all the way to the moon and land if it's going to be on the front side, which it should be, unless they want to skip around to the back 
and land on the dark side where China's been landing. And to see what's going on there. Regardless, China has a rover on the moon. They're trying to set up a base on the far side. And they've been making moves. Now, the United States making another move itself with this executive order. Make sure to join us over here on DLive. Okay, so you, you see the video, okay? Basically, you have uh, Donald Trump. You see what it says, but he uh, just signed an executive order su supporting, you know, mining and, and getting, you know, asteroid resources, which is out there that America, they've never really uh went to the moon. That was, you know, a lie, you know, that they've, you know, deceived one of the ways they deceived the world as well, you know. Esau just wanted to look so great, but um, this is what they're trying to do, okay? This is a uh, right quick, and really, what it is is, you know, either they're trying to uh really get resources because they're trying to prepare, you know, for the second coming of who the world even calls Jesus Christ, which his name is Yahweh Shah, and there was a video that I had um. I actually forgot to put up. Um, it was a video where you had this woman. She saw a fleet of of chariots, and they were lined up. But really, we got these uh these elites of the um who are also you know Edomites, the wicked that's ruling, okay, alongside their counterparts, the low average Joe six pack Edomite. They uh they saw you know that video. Which I did a video on it. They saw, you know, it was also on Dabu 77's page. They did a, uh, they saw on their little webcam, uh, you saw the planet Earth. And Earth was like the small circle. And you saw a big circle that was bigger than Earth, which most likely that was what? It was a chariot. Because Dabu 77, he said they found like a, they saw a huge wheel in the scriptures. And so-called UFOs, the chariots. You know, they they describe in Ezekiel the first chapter as a wheel, okay? So they the elites know what those are, and they know that they're coming, you know, uh, to make war, you know, with this system of Esau Edom. But I'm gonna get a scripture real quick. This is Habakkuk, right? I start at three, two and three. It says for the vision is yet for an appointed time. But the, at the end, it shall speak. And like I always say, you know, the end, right? It's talking about the end of the world, but it's not literally talking about the world, planet Earth ending. It's talking about the end of what? A rulership. And who's ruling right now? For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Like it says in 2 Ezra 6 and 7. Okay? So we're at the end of this man's rulership. And they see it, you know? They see that... uh. We waking up, they see that this word is being pushed out, they're being exposed, and they see what? The fleet of chariots, okay, the so-called UFOs coming here, okay, to make war with the beast. Because this man has made war with everybody, including you Israelites, you so-called Negro, Latino, Native American on the planet Earth, okay? And he's been able to conquer and rule, and he believes he's undefeatable. So let me keep going. This says... For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak, and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. The chariots, okay, us waking up. Um, him setting up his new world order before your face, trying to microchip everybody with the mark of the beast, which is, is soon to come. Okay, all this is coming to pass. It's all be being manifest. Okay, because at first people were able to say that this whole, you know, thing. This narrative that we're pushing, it was a conspiracy theorist. And if if it was to ever happen, it will happen, you know, generations and generations and gener in the future, basically. But it's speaking right now. It says, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. And who was it talking about? It's talking about Esau Eden, the so-called white man. Okay? Nothing they can't do right. Okay? They're the original. You can't do right. Okay? Here it is. You know, they had the, the fatness of the earth, which... You know, let me, uh, before I keep going, let me get that right quick. 
in Genesis 27. Here it is. You have the fatness of the earth. Let me get that. This is uh, Genesis. This going back to Esau's blessing. Because Jacob was Jacob. Is, is you, is you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Jacob supplanted, you know, forefather Jacob, he supplanted Esau for the birthright and that blessing, okay? Which, in the spirit, it was already our birthright and the blessing. It was ours anyway. You know, if you go into Romans, I believe, like, the ninth chapter, you know? But let me read it. This is Genesis 27 and 38. And Esau said unto his father, has thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also. O oh, my father. And Esau, Salaki, it says, and Esau lifted up his voice and wept. Because he what? He was Jacob supplanting him with the birthright and the blessing. Right? And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth, and of the dew of the heaven from above. And by thy sword shall thou live, and shall serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion. Thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. And this is what you're seeing now. You see the Edomites had the fatness of the earth. Okay? You go in these different lands. Whose military is there? It's the so-called white man's military. America's military. You go uh, uh these different tourist spots. Who's the main people that you see there? Okay? You don't see the people, the original people of those lands, you know, enjoying the vacation, drinking out of a uh, straw, out of a coconut. You don't see that. Who do you see? You see the Edomites. Why? Because this is their kingdom. This is their rulership. This is them having the fatness of the earth. Okay? Come, when it comes to these uh, elite elites, because all these heathen have their elites, but the main elite that's the richest and have and control everything is who? The elites of the Edomites. Okay? So they have the fatness of the earth right now. Okay? Um, let me get this. This is Habakkuk 2 and 4. It says, Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not right in him. And that's Esau Edom. Okay? Look at him. Look how they act. Look how they, they think. Look what they do. You know? It says, But the just shall live by his faith. Yeah, also because he transgressed by wine, he is a proud man. What was the wine? The wine was the philosophies, the wicked philosophies that he spread throughout the four corners of the earth, including to you Israelites. Okay, he you know the the uh, the food being polluted, the sky, the air you breathe being polluted, the water being polluted. Okay, women being above men, uh, children out of order. You know, the uh, you know you got a poor, you got the the middle class, the the uh, the rich. Okay, you know um, this dog eat dog. You know, uh, mentality that he's pushing on the planet Earth. Just many. Other things, the LGBTQ movement, that's all wine right there, okay, of Esau, Edom, okay, and he's got all you people, okay, not all, not all because you had the elect, but he's got a majority of you, damn near majority of you people in the world believing in, okay, his ways, okay, to the point that you want to keep this thing going, because you see what's going on right now, okay, they want to, they want this system going, why, because they, they've been, Drunk off the Babylon juice. That's why. Okay? And Esau is proud of that. This is why he's trying to set up a new world order. Right? It says, neither keepeth at home. Why? Because these Edomites are everywhere. Okay? Once again, the militaries and all these other uh, these other uh, nations' lands. And why is that? Because they want to rob them for what? Their resources. They want to uh, 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 control what goes down in that region. You know, because they conquered it, right? Once again, every time you go to a tourist spot, who do you see there? You see Esau. And they living it up with a smile on their face. They're proud, you know? So it says, who enlarges to his desire as hell and is as death, man. Because this man is literally uh, deaf, okay? Walking on legs, man. Okay? That's all this man pushes is death. The lifestyle you live is death. His system the way it's set up, it, it does nothing but lead you to death, okay? Everything about this place leads to death, and they're ruling it, okay? Because that's what they are, they're death. It says, it cannot be satisfied, but gather onto all nations and heap onto all people. And that's the point. This man is greedy, okay? He cannot be satisfied. 
You got the fatness of the earth. You have you have all the resources on the planet Earth, and you you still you still not satisfied with that. You have to go up to the moon, okay, and try to uh 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 suck the resources out of the moon, okay? Which you won't even make it to the moon. You've never made it to the moon, okay? And the thing is, on the other hand, they uh they know. It's a reason, another reason they're doing it, because they know that Yahweh Shah is getting ready to come back and make war with them in their system. Real quick, I'll start at Isaiah 26 and now. With my soul have I desired thee in the night, yeah, with my spirit with, within me will I seek thee early. For when thy judgments are in the earth, which they're in the earth right now, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Yeah, but. Esau is the only one. He's, he will never learn righteousness. He's accustomed, like it says, I believe, in Jeremiah, the 13th chapter, how can a leopard change his spots? Can the wicked, no. Let me get it. No point of butts running. It. It's Jeremiah, uh... Yep, Jeremiah 13 and 23 says, Can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spots? Then may ye also do good that are accustomed to do evil. They're accustomed to do evil. They're the wicked. Okay? They're that wicked nation. Okay? That spread wickedness to you people. And you people are falling after it. Including the majority of our people. And this is why Yahweh Bashim is getting ready to come back and make war with this place. Let favor be showed to the wicked. Yet will he not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness will he deal unjustly and not behold the majesty of the Lord. You know? And the majesty of the Lord, you know, his, his uh, creation, okay, for one thing, okay, the earth, the animals, which you spoil the animals, you put, you know, garbage in the, um, the seas, and these animals are, you know, their lungs and stuff is getting clogged up with it, and they're dying and beaching themselves, okay, the people, just everything in general that has to do with life, you destroyed it, okay, you're not beholding the majesty of the Lord, so, Lord's getting ready to, they know what's coming. This is why they're, they're speeding up with uh, everything they're doing right now. This is why you see him slowly uh, tightening the grip on you people and taking away your constitutional rights, which really you had no constitutional rights in the first place, especially you tribes, man. You've never had rights. You were just here. You were just slaves, Right? Yeah, he's, this is why he's squeezing, okay, the life and, and um, closing the grip on your people because he's getting ready to come down with great wrath because he know he had but a short time as I'm going to get. This is Isaiah 63 and 1. It says, who is this that coming from Edom? You so-called white people starting with your elite bankers, man. Because the elite bankers, as I always bring out, they know, just like us on the right-hand side, the elect, they know... Some of the prophecies just as we know the prophecies. So they're watching just as we're watching. And what they're watching is that they 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 about to get took out. They know it. Okay? This is why this man's starting to show his horns right now. And you people are still blind. You people still don't understand what's going on. This is um Isaiah 63 and 1. Who is that that coming from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? And Basra, okay, it was it was a a, a city, capital city of the, the Edomites. And you could apply that to what? America now. Because America, okay, even though you have Edomites, you know, we got the French Edomites, the German Edomites, the uh, the, Sp the Spaniards. You got all these Edomites calling themselves by their lands, by these lands. You know, Edomites in South Africa. The Edomites are really running, the, the elites are running their, um, their enterprise through America. They push their policy through the earth. Through America, so you could apply uh, modern, um, you could apply uh, Basra to modern day America or modern day Basra to America, Salaki. Okay, that this that this that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. Okay, look at the uh, heathen nations. They they at first when uh, America, you know, put out a decree that they better follow what he says or get took out. What they do, they uh. They do it because they know his military. That's why the scriptures call him in Jeremiah 50, the 50th chapter, the 51st chapter, the hammer of the earth. 
Okay? And the nations are the nails. America's military was powerful, but that's because the Lord allowed that. Prophecy had to be fulfilled. He had to be the hammer on the earth. And these nations, you know, they, that's why you see them now. They're gathering together as one. Because each nation or these other heathens know that they can't um, beat America head on. So this is showing you that America is in the greatness of its strength. You know what's talking about America. It says, I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel, and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat. Right? This, uh, let me keep going. It says, I have tried the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me. If I would tread them in my anger, he's talking about you Edomites, but all you heathens, but it's going to start with Edom. Okay? Because Edom is the top heathen nation that's ruling right now. He's the one that's setting the this, setting this show right now. Okay? You're the one who had the Lord's people in captivity right now. It says, If I would tread my tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment. For the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of redeemed is come. And they see, you know. Let me get Revelations 12 and 12. They know that. Just by seeing just by seeing the video like this go out. Okay? They're starting to send, you know, these bots on the channel saying good channel, good content. That's them letting them know they're watching us. But why are they doing that? Because they know what time it is. This is Revelations 12. Let me see. I'm going to jump down. Then I'm going to go right back up. Okay? It says... This is Revelation 12 and 12, and this scripture comes out damn near daily, but it's just the time that we're living in right now. It says, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil, which is Esau, is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time, man. Okay? And this is what's happening. They see uh, Yahweh Shah is getting ready to uh, come back, and, 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 and. And do away with them, man. Okay? You know what? They know they have a short time. Okay? They see. Let me get uh, Zechariah 5. Right? I'm going to get Zechariah 5 and 1. Because I had a video. It was another video. You just had a fleet of chariots just come in. So Esau is terrified by them things, and he's going to say it. It says, I should have got this one before I got Revelation 12 and 12, but it's all good. It says, then I turned and looked up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. Which the flying roll is what? The so-called UFO. And I said, and he said unto me, what see is that? And I answered, see a flying roll, the length of the 20 cubits, the breadth of the 10 cubits. Then he said unto me, this is the curse that go forth over the face of of the whole earth, just like you see in the movie Independence Day, them chariots, they covered whole skies. Okay? That's really going to play out. For everyone that still shall be cut off as on this side according to it. Okay? And who, what was Esau known for? He was known for what? You stole, okay, the children of Israel. You still have the children of Israel in your, your possession right now. Okay? Still God was working at your, your dumbass jobs. Okay, you still got us paying your, your, your bills. Okay, you stole the lands, you know, because this land belonged to who? It belonged to Gad, the so-called Native Americans, you know, and some of the northern northern tribes, man. I mean, some of the uh, Latino tribes, man. Okay, Issachar, the so-called Mexicans. Okay, you stole that from, from our brothers. Okay, so it's applied to you, and that swear shall be cut off as on that side, according to it. And that's the that's the so called you know that's the Edomite to a T. Okay, you push that vibration, okay, on the masses, man. So you're gonna pay for that. I will bring it forth, said the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief. That's Esau. Like it says in John 10 and 10, the thief coming out for to steal, for to kill, and to destroy, man. That's Esau. Okay? And into the house of him that swear falsely by my name, calling him. No, Jesus. That's not his name. His name is Yahweh Shah. You know, 
uh, 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 saying that he was, uh, he looked like a so-called, uh, he looked like an Edomite. Okay, that's false. The scriptures clearly tell you that who the, uh, the Messiah is actually a so-called, you know, Negro man. The people that you're trampling on right now, you know. And it shall remain in the midst of his house and shall consume it with the, with the uh, timber dove and the stones thereof. Okay. And that curse was these chariots. That's that's going. That's 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 what Esau. This is what, what you're witnessing. That curse. Okay, showing up on this uh space radars. It's literally showing up in different major cities in the sky. People just, you know, recording on their phone saying, what is that? Okay? They know what it is. This is why they know they have a short time. So they're going to try to, you know, this is why if you, you go in space, they got a... Uh, 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 So lucky. That's so why in space they have, you know, um, these different, you know, laser projectiles that are pointing outward. They're not point, pointing inward. They're pointing outward. Why? Because they're preparing for the second coming. This is why Trump has that space force. Okay? Because they're preparing for the return of Yahweh Okay? This is why they're doing all these things. This is why they're trying to mine resources on the moon, which they're not going to the moon. Okay? They could try all they want, okay, even if they get close enough. And really what it is is the uh, these Edomites, they want to escape their judgment. They want to flee the planet Earth because they destroyed, I'm talking about the upper echelon of them. Because you you lower level Edomites, you you really just, you just do okay? But the higher ups, the higher ups, they want to um try to flee this planet because they know all the dirt and all the crimes and the, the destruction they've done to the planet Earth. So they're going to try to maybe... You no know, flee uh, to the moon, see if it got resources or some sort of life on there, because that's what Esau also does. So they could, you know, they could escape there. It's not going to work. You can't, you can't deliver yourself out of the hands of the Lord. The Lord got out for you. That's it, right? So let me get to the uh, point. This is um, Revelations, right? 12 and 7 says, and there was a war in heaven, right? Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. It's Esau, you know? And the dragon fought fought against the dragon. The dragon fought against his angels. And this is what he's trying to do, you know? This is what he's doing. He's preparing, you know, to fight Yahweh Shah and his, his chariots, man, his air force. Because just like Esau got an air force, Yahweh Shah got an air force. But our air force, real quick, let me get Isaiah 31. Let me see. Right? This is Isaiah 31. And 2. I'll start at Isaiah 31, 2. It says, actually, I'll start at 1. It says, Woe to them that go down, down to Egypt, which America is spiritual Egypt, according to Revelation 11 and 8. Also, um, Joel 3, 19, okay, uh, Deuteronomy 60, uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 68, okay, those are all scriptures to show that America is Egypt, okay, it says, woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots, it's talking about this man's, mil his military, his tanks, his, uh, military Humvees, okay, his super soldiers, his, uh, air his fighter jets, all these different tools and um, toys that Esau has stashed up. Because really, you people don't understand what this man really has. He has a lot more than what you see. Okay, that riot gear, all that, that's all you know, normal to Esau. He has way more stuff than that, you know. And he's going to pull it out in these times that we're about to enter into. Okay. This is, uh, let me read it again. It says, woe to them that go down to Egypt. For help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and the horsemen because they are very strong, but they look not onto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. And that's really our people. You know, you, you tribes, man. This is why you, you, because at first, before this, for example, this coronavirus that's us that came here, you know, you, the only reason why you wasn't really worried about it when it was in uh, Wuhan, China, was because you thought, um, 
and what's going to hit America? Because America, we had the cure for everything, right? And if it does hit America, we're going, we going, oh, we going to get, we going to get past it. This is America. I literally had somebody, a coworker at work, tell me that. Well, he didn't take the, the it serious, okay? Because he said this is America. But then now that it's an American, it's doing what it's doing, which Esau is really, you know, he's inflating the numbers. He's going overboard with it to push his agenda, okay? Now everybody's in Panama. Now you see people with gloves and masks on their face and hazmat suits, okay? But that's because they trusted in Egypt. And Egypt is going to be your shame and your confusion, okay? And this is why you see our uh, people, they so quick and fast to join this man's military. And all you jakes that's in this man's military, if you don't get out of it, which most likely you can't get out of it, you want to die, okay? Um, you're going to be destroyed, okay? You join on with the enemy. And like it says in the scriptures, in Isaiah the 13, chapter 15, verse, those that, and they that be joined on them shall be thrust through with the sword, man. You going, you going down with this man because you wanted to be like this man. You wanted to join this man to fight against your own power. So you're going to be destroyed. This is uh, Isaiah 31 and 2. Yet he is also wise and will bring evil and will not call back his words. And it's, it's evident now that Yahweh Bashim Shah is not calling back his words because prophecy is coming to pass. But will arise against the house of the evildoers and against the help of them that work iniquity. And that's these elites. Starting with these elites, man. They're the evildoers. They're the ones that's spreading wickedness on the planet Earth. And this is what's getting ready to happen. Okay? Now the Egyptians are men. The Egyptians are men and not the Most High. And their horse is flesh and not spirit. When the Lord shall stretch out his hand, both he that helpeth shall fall. He that is hoping shall fall down. And they shall fall together, man. And that's the thing. Esau is preparing to fight against a, 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 a power, man. Uh, 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 almighty power, man. This is what he's getting prepared to fight against, man. He's trying to use carnal uh, uh, things, carnal weapons against spiritual weapons, okay? You can't shoot at a chariot, man. A chariot will disappear, go left, right, left, right, up, down, up, down, that fast, man. You can't catch it. But Esau, he's, he's proud, man. He is proud. Let me get that real quick. Then I'm going to go back to that Revelation 12, right? He's proud, man. This is the most proudest, proudest nation, heathen nation that's came into power, man. Because you always had proud uh, heathen rulers, but the majority of the, uh, the uh, heathens, they didn't go as far to fight, you know, try to fight off, you know, the Heavenly Father, man. You've never had that with a heathen, but this one you do. This devil would. Let me get the scripture, right? This is Obadiah 1 and 3. The pride of thy heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the cluster of the rocks, as you Edomites, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, which that's a key, no one's talking about America, and though thou set thy nest amongst the stars, right? Thence will I bring thee down, said the Lord, man. The Lord's going to take your ass down, man. Okay? You know you're going to get took down. Them uh, them uh, weapons you got prepared. Them uh, them super soldiers, all your space, you know, fighter jets, the space force you got, it's all carnal, man. It's not spiritual. And that was the problem always with Esau. Esau was always carnal, okay. And that was always his downfall, just like it's gonna be his downfall now. This uh, Revelations twelve and seven again. It says, and there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels. Fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels. Okay, this was getting ready to go down. Okay, he's going to try to fight off Yahweh Shah and the chariots. But what's going to happen? And prevailed not, neither was their place found anymore in heaven. Okay, that's literally, you know, they're going to be destroyed. And also, the heaven, which this is the Edomite's heaven. Okay, this is their rulership, this is their kingdom. So he's going to be taken at the same time when this happens, he's going to be knocked out of power. They won't be in rulership no more. Okay? So that's twofold. You know? They're going to be taken out of their heaven, literally. You know? Then what's going to happen? They're going into captivity alongside all the other heathen nations. Because it's apparent that all these other heathen nations, if they got a space force, they're going to try to join into it. Okay? All you going into slavery. Okay? The, the night first and the and the, the great dragon was cast out, the old, that old serpent 
called the devil and Satan, Esau, who deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with them. Okay? So now, this is what's going to happen. He's going to be, he's going to be, he's going to be took down. And the whole world is going to witness, okay, witness, you know, his, uh, his demise. The Lord is getting ready to embarrass this man because this man, right now, he think he the shit right now, okay? He got you people thinking he's the shit that you can't get past whenever you think, um, um, Something goes down, he's always there. You know, like he's the most high. You know, this is why he got cameras set up and different all over your cities. Because he, he's trying to have you believe that he has eyes everywhere. Just like the most high, man. You know, how the scriptures say the, the eyes of the Lord are ten times brighter than the sun. That's what he's trying to mock. He's trying to be the most high, literally. Okay? Right? But the Lord is going, is going, is going to jack you up, man. And you know it. Isaiah 14, I'll start at 4, that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon. Okay, which was this, this was the ancient king of Babylon, but this could apply to the modern Babylon, because America is also the modern Babylon the Great. Mystery Babylon the Great. That thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon, and say, how had the oppressor ceased, the golden city ceased. The Lord had broken the staff of the wicked, right? Your rulership, your authority, and the scepter of the rulers, Okay. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger, is persecuted and not hindered. And that's all you've done. And this is what you're doing right now. You're, you're getting ready to implement your new world order. You know that you're going to have to oppress these people as much as possible to get them to what? To get them to get on their knees and beg for when you implement your vaccine. And then what? The RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. That's straight oppression, man. That's all you that's all you, you do is rule and oppression, man. Taxing people to death. Okay? You have homeless people in the streets. Okay? These low, these low wage jobs that you give these people, and they can barely make a living. You what? You increase, you know, taxes, you increase the rent, you increase uh uh, uh the fr the price of fruit food. Okay? That's all you do is pro uh, oppress the uh, oppress people, man. Okay, going in people's different lands, and rape, robbing, and murdering your way through them, and then setting up laws to what they gotta follow in their own land. Who are you? That's why when you get took down, nobody's gonna uh says none hindereth. Let me get that real quick. Hindereth, right? It's kasak says to withhold, restrain, hold back, keep in check. Okay. So these people ain't gonna give a damn that you going out of power. They're gonna be they're gonna be rejoiceful. And they should be. Okay. The seventh verse. The whole earth is at rest and it's quiet. They break forth in the singing. Yeah, the fir trees rejoice at thee in the centers of Lebanon, saying, Since thou art laid down, no fellas come up against us. So not only the people, because these heathens, they going in these other heathen nations, they going into slavery too. But at least they're gonna have a you know a fair shake in our kingdom. We're gonna let them have their own lands. We're not gonna do them dirty like you Edomites been doing. Okay? But you Edomites, on the other hand, you're gonna be done away. Only nation of people done away with the corner Obadiah 1 and 18. Okay? But when this takes place, the people are gonna be like you said, when the righteous on authority, the people rejoice, man. Okay, because you're gonna be took out of power when this happens. Okay? Everybody's going to be rejoicing. And not only the people, the animals are going to be rejoicing. Okay? The trees are going to be rejoicing. That's what it says right here. The fir trees are going to be rejoicing, man. Because what are you doing right now with the trees? You're now you're cutting them down. And what? Building up useless restaurants that's going to eventually go bankrupt and go out of business, man. What's, see, this, 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 this is who's ruling right now, you know? So the Lord's going to take you out and everybody's going to be rejoicing, man. Okay? And I'm gonna skip down. Right? This is the uh the 15th verse. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, which is talking about you're gonna be brought down to a lower state. Okay? You gonna like you said, he was uh there was no more found in heaven. 
you being from being in your rulership, you're going to be cast all the way down to a, 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 a slave. Okay? That's what it's going to be. Right? It says, They that, that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee. Who? These people. The world. And consider these sins. This the man that made the earth tremble, that did shake the kingdoms. Prime example, okay, was when you bombed in World War II. Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the, the Ammonites, the so-called Japanese, man. When they did that, that put fear, okay? That really was what put fear on the nations, man. When they did that, okay? Plus, you know, you you uh, uh was able to, uh you know, falsely accuse different, you know, world leaders of committing atrocities against their own people, like Saddam Hussein, for example, and Gaddafi. Okay, and you was able to get the people to believe your, your your false narrative, just like now. Okay, and you went in and what? You 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 hung them in front of on TV and live TV, man. Okay, to make an example of them. So you made these you made the people fear for a point in time, but it's gonna switch, man. That made the world as a wilderness. Look at uh, look at the uh, look at these these countries that America's military made war with, or been in. Okay. Since they were so-called helping the people of those lands from their own, their own leader, so-called, you know. Look at Afghanistan. Look at the Middle East period. It's a war zone, man. Third world country. Look at uh, South America. Look at Central America. You know, which Jake is under the curses. But still, look at it. It's completely through. Third world country. Look at uh, Africa, which America's had their hands in Africa. You different Edomite tribes, you know. You've uh, 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 sucked the resources out of Africa. And look at Africa, man. And Africa's a rich land, but Esau went through there and look at it, you know. Look at certain parts of it, okay. You made the world a wilderness, okay. Dropping pocket nukes and bombs on these different, you know, countries, airstrikes. You've done that. It says, and destroyed the cities thereof. And that opened not the house of the, his prisoners. And who are the prisoners of you Edomites right now? The main prisoners. The apple of Yahweh Bashim eyes, which is the what? The children of Israel. Okay? So, that's who you have. You never let us go. So now the Lord's going to have to make war with you. Let's go. He's hardening your heart just like he did ancient Pharaoh. You know? So I'm going to read one more scripture. Then I'm going to just call it, you know, the vid right there. So this is the 19th verse. But thou art cast out of thy grave like an abominable branch. And as the raiment of that of the, those that are slain thrust through with the sword. That go down to the stones of the pit as a carcass trodden in the foot. Thou shalt not be joined with them in burial. And it's talking about the other nations. Because once again, they going into slavery too for, for partaking in, you know, the downfall of our people. But at least they're still going to witness a righteous rulership. They're going to be subject under the children of Israel, but they're going to at least witness a righteous rulership. You Edomites, on the other hand, you're going to be, according to Obadiah 1 and 18 once again, you're going to be done away with. You ain't going to be able to witness a righteous rulership because, for one, you were created to be the wicked, okay? You're anti-righteous, just like we're anti-wicked, even though you have wicked jakes, but that was because of you. Okay, they're going to be destroyed too on this side, but they're going to come back righteous. So you're going to be the only one that's not going to witness uh, 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 basically, you know, a righteous rulership. You will be, you will serve a thousand years, but after that thousand years is up, that's it. Okay? Thou shalt not be joined with them in burial because thou hast destroyed thy land and slain thy people. The seed of evildoers shall never be renowned. And I'm going to get that word, then I'm going to end it. <laughs> renowned. It says, Kara. It says, to call, recite, read. Let me see. Mention, invite, famous. Okay, you ain't going to be famous no more. Nobody's going to uh, mention you, you know. Nobody's even going to think about you, you know. Let me get one more scripture. I said I was going to end it, but one more scripture came to mind. It's my last scripture. Nobody's gonna think about or think about you in our kingdom. Just like 
And you came, nobody thought about our people. And if they did think about our people, it was always in a negative light. Okay? We was considered niggas, spicks, Uncle Tomahawks, drug dealers, hoes. Okay? All these things. Entertainers, just your, your song, you know? That's all we look at us on this side. Nothing. So it's going to be the same way with you. This is uh, Job 18. And 16, and his roots shall be dried dried up beneath, and above that, above shall his branch be cut off. His remembrance shall perish, right? His remembrance. Okay, him being famous, him being uh, number one on the planet Earth is going to perish from the earth, and he shall have no name in the street. So nobody's going to uh, uh, recognize you, man. When we have our children in our kingdom, they're going to, when they, you know, because... This is going to be written about in our kingdom. Okay? Babylon the Great. What our people was going through here. It's going to be written about. Okay? And uh, when our kids hear it, you know, the stories of it, they're going to be shocked to see that you Edomites was even in power and above us at one point. That's what it's going to be like. They're not even going to really know what an Edomite is. Okay? Because your remembrance is going to be done away with in that time. He shall have he shall be driven from light into darkness and chased out of the world. And it's starting to happen now, but it's gonna really manifest itself, you know? When this place is destroyed. He shall neither have son nor nephew among his people, nor any remain in his dwellings. They that come after him shall be restored at his day as they that went before were affrighted. Surely such are the dwellings of the wicked, and this is the place of him that knoweth not the most high, because you even might thought you were the most high. You persuade these people that there is no God, and if there is a God, it's me. That's what you've been pushing on the whole planet Earth this whole entire time, okay? You've been exposed, and now you're going to be taken out of power, okay? So this is what you got, you eat them, you got to look forward to. Only hope you have is to you know that your lineage goes back to them tribes, our, our people, through the man. If not, you're doomed. That goes for all you heathen, Okay? So, um, that's it. You know, this lesson actually went pretty longer than I expected it. I thought it was going to be a quick 20-minute video, but Spirit just led me, you know, to these other extra scriptures. I wasn't planning on getting these, but it's all good, though. So, call hello, la Yahweh, by Hashem, I was shy. Yahweh, uh, Ratazah, this was edifying, which is Lord Witness, was edifying to you, Akim, you brothers, you Akwaf, you sisters that do listen and learn. And, uh, Shalom. Baba Gasha, a Baba Bo, a Baba Bo, a Baha Yabia, a Baha Yabia, Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, once again, Shalom to the elect.